patients and are actually now opening a um, trial initially for patients with glioblastoma. We've done a lot of work in GBM. We actually um, have designed a way to deliver the dart minimally invasively using the um, standard neurosurgical navigation biopsy needle. So again, in the similar type of analogy, instead of taking tissue out, as the th neurosurgeons do when they diagnose um, GBM or brain metastases, we actually use it like a slide and actually slide in our sources. So the way we do it is we built a very cool contraption, which almost creates like an umbrella. So we basically have series of sources that sit one on top of the other, and we can put them in a circle. So we basically create an umbrella and stack it, stack it, stack it to be able to cover uh, the tumor. And so we've completed a number of large animal studies and are actually now uh, opened a, uh, are opening a um, trial uh, initially for patients uh, with uh, glioblastoma, and especially those patients in the recurrent setting who, as you know, have a unfortunately very, very poor prognosis. Um, so the other benefit is of the DART, again, is the fact that our dose is very conformal into the tumor, and when it goes into the normal tissue, stops immediately. What it means is that we've been able to treat patients who've received prior chemotherapy, who've received prior radiation therapy, who've received prior surgery, and not exacerbate the toxicity. So we don't see a distinction in toxicity, meaning we don't see a difference in toxicity, unlike standard therapy, where you generally find that for every new line of therapy, the amount of toxicity, the amount of adverse events goes way up, and the efficacy goes down. We don't see that with the DART.